creative peeps and welcome back for another video today i am updating you on my one book july for 2017 week one um i finally got in my cover that i had ordered from gallon leather for one book july so i'm going to show you how i set that up real quick and then we're going to talk about um, my go big or go home challenge so like i said this is from gallon leather um it is an A5 Lloydstrom and I believe the iPad mini cover in Crazy Horse. So, um, I will try to link it down below for you in case you're interested. Uh, it's built really well. It's relatively affordable. Um, it was cheaper than any most A5 um, Traveler's Notebooks that I could find. And really, the only difference is there's no strings. Um, and if I really wanted to, honestly, I could put strings in it myself. No big deal. So anyway, here's my bullet journal that I have in here. Um, it just slides under this elastic band here, and then I slid all of my stamps and stickers and my stencil and stuff in there, so I always have it. So that's been working really well. In this pocket here, I just have my watercolor um, mini palette that I made that was in my travel case before. Then I have a ballpoint pen. And in here, I just have some of my essentials. So this is just for like on the go. I really minimally kept this so that I could sketch or anything anywhere and work in my bullet journal. So this is just a pencil. Um, I usually use my Pilot Color Eno pencil in the blue, which I love, but it doesn't like the Lloydstrom paper for some reason. It just doesn't grab it. I don't know why. This is a water brush in the fine tip from Jane Davenport. My current bullet journal color of the week, which is this um, 493 blue from Tombow. I have a Tombow uh, have Fudanasaki, I think that's how you say it, um, calligraphy brush pen that um, someone sent me in some happy mail. Then I have the Jane Davenport Incredible Pen, so I use this for sketching um, and stuff. So I put that in here, and it is water reactive. And then I have my highlighter from my bullet journal. And that's really all I found that I need. And then in here, I just keep um, my journaling insert for the month for my Go Big or Go Home challenge. So I'm not going to really show you what I've done because it is all personal journaling. Um, you've seen me do a few like picture layouts in it in my Creative Week videos. If you haven't seen those, I will link them below for you so you can check that out. But I am um, over halfway through it. So this is the halfway mark right here. And I'm on to the next page. And it's just all writing. It's really been helping me write more. Um, I really enjoy it. If I finish this one before the end of July, I'll just bust out um, another one, honestly, and start that one probably. Um, I just have some cards and some photos back here, so if I'm out or whatever and feel like sticking those in, then I can. So yeah, that just all folds up like this. Um, you can put the strap over it, but I usually don't just because I'm constantly opening it and stuff. So yeah. And then in terms of my go big or go home, this is what the state of my tray is in. To be honest, um, I have used things out of it, but not as many as I should have used. To be fair, I really haven't art journaled much. Um, so I didn't need to use them, I guess you could say. Um, these are just tools in here, but I did use a few of the die cuts. I've used the washi tape. I did use a sequence on a journal page, which you will see. Um, it was in my pen pal art journal with Jenny, so you'll see that. Um, and I didn't think I would be able to use these at all, so I was really proud of myself um, for that. I've used some of the stickers. I've used a couple of the, um, Project Life cards that I caught out of the paper pads. I've used a ton of these sticky notes, which is really good. I've used them in my bullet journal, um, and for a few other things. I've been using 
the notepad as a stamp off thing when I stamp in my bullet journal. I've used a little bit of this washi. So yeah, um, that's pretty much my update. I have been finding it a lot more, not a lot more challenging than I thought it would be, but I don't, it surprises me how hard it is for me to use these things. Um, but I think it is because I work in A5 and these things are tiny y'all like look how tiny that is like what can i compare it to this is a business card look how tiny that is so yeah i don't know um i'm gonna try harder i still have a couple weeks left to get my butt in gear and use more of this stuff um so I'm going to try really hard. I am going to make a new art journal soon. So hopefully that will help. Um, Cause I'll be able to use like the tabs and stuff in there. But yeah. So I hope you guys are enjoying one book July. If you have any questions at all, feel free. Just kidding. I have one more thing to show you. So because um, I can't use wet media in here at all. I actually did a sketch in my bullet journal. Um, it's really messy and stuff, but I don't normally do things like that in my bullet journal. And I found out that this paper actually takes it wet media really well. Um, so I want to do more sketching practice in my bullet journal. But yeah, so that's it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's update. If you have any questions, I'll leave them in the comments below. Um, tell me how you are enjoying your One Book July challenge and getting on with it if you are doing it. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.